SpaceX insane Raptor engines power the starship that Musk is taking to Mars. What makes them so good and why are they called the king of rocket engines? This is a sneak peek into the insane engineering of SpaceX's Raptor engine. The Starship is nothing without its Raptor engines. They produce the thrust to help the Starship escape the Earth's gravitational pull and propel it on its interplanetary journeys. The thrust they produce has to be enormous, as the Starship is meant to lift heavy payloads of up to 100 tons. This is important if Musk's dream of planting people on Mars is to materialize. All the stuff necessary for life will be transported to the planet by the Starship. SpaceX is not short of powerful rockets. Part of its roster of spacecraft is the Falcon 9, which is partially reusable. It is capable of blasting payloads up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Falcon 9 is powered by the Merlin engine, developed in-house by SpaceX. However, the Starship needed something more powerful, and SpaceX decided to build a new engine, naming it the Raptor. With the design, SpaceX is introducing lots of insane concepts that few rocket companies have tried. The result is a beast masquerading as a rocket engine. Each Raptor engine weighs about 1.5 tons and will supply 11 million horsepower to the Starship, the equivalent of four Hoover dams. By comparison, the Bugatti Veyron, one of the most powerful sports cars ever made, has an engine that weighs one-third but cannot produce more than 1,200 horsepower. The exhaust of the Raptor engine is expelled at over 10 times the speed of sound. If that is not crazy enough for you, the fuel in the chamber burns at temperatures high enough to melt the chamber's walls. If you wonder why the wall does not melt, that's because of the clever way the flame is kept away from the walls by manipulating the flow of the gas. Super cold fuel is also pumped through the walls as additional security. The Raptor engine works like most rockets do, expelling gases fast enough to push the spacecraft forward. However, a lot of clever engineering makes the Raptor a mighty rocket. The engines depart in their design from standard fare for rockets as SpaceX opted for a full-flow staged combustion cycle. Inside, engine ignition is handled by the dual-redundant spark plug-lit torch igniters, which means there is no need for a dedicated consumable igniter fluid, as found in the Merlin. The Raptor combines methane and oxygen that is deeply cooled for propellant. Near their freezing point, at such low temperatures, the propellant is denser, which increases the overall performance of the engine. Methane is a better fuel because of its higher performance and lower cost than kerosene or hydrogen-based propellants. It is far easier to store than hydrogen, as it requires less effort to keep it cool at cryogenic levels. It also weighs less than hydrogen, meaning more methane can be stored in the same tank. Methane is better than kerosene as the latter forms residue during burning, known as coking, limiting the rocket's reusability. The higher efficiency means that with almost the same size as the Merlin engine, the Raptor engine produces far higher pressure and thrust. There is simply no other rocket engine in existence capable of producing as much energy using liquid methane and oxygen as a propellant. The development of the Raptor engine is incredibly impressive especially when you consider that the CEO Elon Musk didn't study anything about rocket science in school, but taught himself everything by listening to experts. To keep improving on my videos, I took a class on Skillshare. So, here's a little pro tip for... YouTuber Marcus Brownlee helped me improve my editing skills and workflow. Our sponsor Skillshare offers thousands of classes on helpful topics. YouTuber Nathaniel Drew has a great class on how to unlock your creativity. Thomas Frank has a class where he shows how to become more productive and integrate a system into your workflow. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. The choice of fuel for the engine is another evidence for forward thinking by the design team at SpaceX. The Starship is heading to Mars, and guess which gas is abundant there? Methane. So the idea is to mine the methane on the planet so a Starship can refuel before embarking on the return trip. This will simplify lots of things and even make the trips cheaper by a high magnitude. It will be similar to your airplane landing at a foreign airport and refueling for another takeoff. The full-flow staged combustion cycle means both the oxygen and the methane 
will be mixed entirely in the gas phase before entering the combustion chamber. This way, every drop of fuel is used efficiently. The full flow design makes a lot of sense for several reasons. For example, it eliminates the need for a sealing between the fuel and the oxidizer. This sealing is often a source of failure in traditional rockets. Using a full flow design also means the pumping system does not need to handle extreme pressure, which is another possible source of catastrophic failure. In addition, SpaceX can dial up the pressure in the combustion chamber to eke out more performance. In fact, during testing, the Raptor has achieved 330 bar of pressure without exploding setting a record for an operational engine to be used for orbital payloads. The previous record holder was the Russian RD-180, which could withstand 31 bars of pressure. All these contribute to the high reusability of the Raptor engines. They are actually suitable for 1,000 flights, which is a big deal in space travel. When compared with rockets from other companies, the Raptor engine is miles ahead. It crushes other rockets in efficiency and safety. SpaceX was initially 3D printing the components in the engine, including the turbo pumps and injectors, allowing them to advance the development and testing at a fast clip. There are two variants of the Raptor engine. The sea level variant will power the lower stage of the Starship and has been optimized for working on Earth. The other variant, the vacuum version, will keep the upper stage moving after being disconnected from the booster. To optimize for performance in space, the vacuum version has a nozzle skirt extension making it bigger. The difference can be easily noticed when the two are placed side by side. In other specifications and components, the two variants are identical. The high-performance Raptors are not exactly cheap. Initially, each engine costs SpaceX a million dollars to build, but SpaceX is working on cutting it down to $250,000 a pop. The cost is significant to Musk as he tries to make interplanetary trips affordable to everybody. This is why the Raptor engine is designed to require as minor refurbishment as possible for multiple uses. His company is working to ramp up production and be able to make the rocket engines in mass. The immediate goal is to make 500 of them per year. However, if Musk's plan to have a fleet of a thousand starships making thousands of flights is to occur, that capacity will need to be increased significantly. A single starship can use up to 41 Raptor engines. The lower stage may require 31 sea level variants, although the actual number has varied during the testing of the Starship. The upper stage will take six Raptors, a mixture of both the sea level and vacuum variants. The sea level engines are needed for landing both on Earth and on Mars. While SpaceX races to finish the Raptor engines, lots of people are monitoring the progress. NASA, for example, has tapped the Starship to help land its astronauts on the Moon as it revitalizes its space exploration program with Project Artemis. It is working on a 2024 deadline. But beyond the moon, the Raptor engine is insanely essential to NASA as it hopes to use the Starship to get astronauts to Mars in the long run. Trips to even more distant planets like Jupiter are also on the cards. This is why it agreed to give $2.9 billion to SpaceX to fund the spacecraft development. Another big name waiting on the Raptor engine is the US military. After getting a taste of the goodness of SpaceX rockets that launched its national security satellites, the number one force on Earth is planning to use the Starship for rapid delivery of both cargo and personnel to places on Earth. With the powerful Raptor rocket engines, SpaceX is building a revolutionary engine that produces an insane amount of thrust and will power the spacecraft of the future. Let us know what you think of SpaceX's insane Raptor engines.